Let's start this lesson and see what these students are going to do. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, children. I hope you know about the exhibition that we are going to have. Yes, teacher. When is the exhibition? At the end of the year. Have you an idea about the exhibits you can prepare? Teacher, will you help us please? Of course I will. First you must select a topic. You must make use of the topics given in the text. You are free to select what you like. All right, All right teacher. Well, they are getting ready for the exhibition. I am sure you have had the same experience at your school. You must be familiar with the preparation for an exhibition. Now, let's go ahead and see what they are going to do. I want you to note down how they describe their plans and what words and phrases they use. They are highlighted throughout the lesson. Pay your attention. I hope to do something on places of historical interest. Good. What about you? I wish to collect some traditional crafts of Sri Lanka. Fine. All right, children. We saw how some children described about their plans. How did they do that? Hope you noted them down. Now, let's see them again. Check what you have written. I hope to do something on places of historical interest. Good. What about you? I wish to collect some traditional crafts of Sri Lanka. Yes, children. What are the phrases you noted down? First one is, I hope. Then you found, I wish. Well, children. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to talk about the future. Did you notice how Dayan expressed his idea? Yes. I hope is used to talk about something that you are going to do in future. I wish can also be used in the same way. Let's look at how the others express their ideas. How about Sita? Bernie? Teacher, I'm going to present something about different communities in Sri Lanka, different ethnic groups and their customs and traditions. My topic is home gardening. I hope to describe how to grow some plants using new techniques. Well, that's fine, children. You must think how we are going to present your ideas. Now you can write in point form what you are going to do. Remember, we are going to have a presentation first. Teacher, what have we to do for the presentation? Oh, that is, you are going to tell the others what you are doing for the exhibition. Well, children, what are the future forms they used? What are the words and phrases that tell about the future? I hope, I wish, I am going to, we are going to. These are some of the phrases they used to talk about the future. Now children, 
the students are ready to present their projects. Let's listen to them. Please remember, in this lesson, we are talking about how to express future. Try to identify words and phrases that tell about the future. Who will come first? Very good, Diane. Please come. Let's listen to Diane. My topic is places of historical interest in Sri Lanka. I'm going to describe five places. May I know what they are? Yes, they are Sigiriya, Polon Narva, Anuradhapura, Dalada Maligav and Kataragam. You all can question him. We need some more details. Yes, I'm going to bring some pictures of these places and prepare a booklet. I hope to build models of Sigiri and Dalda Maligava too. Anything else, Diane? Yes, teacher. I hope to study and be thorough with the details of each place. Why do you want to be thorough with all this? If someone asks about anything, I am ready to explain. True, that's correct. How did Diane tell us about his plans? He used different ways to tell about his future plans regarding the exhibition. What are they? Let's have a look at them once again. My topic is places of historical interest in Sri Lanka. I'm going to describe five places. May I know what they are? Yes, they are Sigiriya, Polon Narva, Anuradhapura, Dalada Maligav and Kataraga. You all can question him. We need some more details. Yes, I'm going to bring some pictures of these places and prepare a booklet. I hope to build models of Sigiri and Dalda Maligava too. Anything else, Diane? Yes, teacher. I hope to study and be thorough with the details of each place. Children, I am sure that you are familiar with these future forms. You must learn how to use these phrases in meaningful sentences. When you express your future plans, you must be able to use them correctly. Now, let's look at how Anura is going to describe his project. My project is on the traditional crafts of Sri Lanka. I'm going to discuss handicrafts. Like what? Brassware, mat weaving, pottery and wood carving. How are you going to exhibit these things? I hope to collect some of these items. I wish to invite some craftsmen too. Why? They will practically show us how to do these things, like pottery and wood carving. That will be marvelous. I'm going to prepare some pamphlets with all the necessary details. I hope to find a good market for them. We saw how Dayan and Anu represented their projects. In describing their projects, they used many future forms. Now, let's revise them. I hope to do something on places of historical interest. Good. What about you? I wish to collect some traditional crafts of Sri Lanka. Teacher, I'm going to present something about different communities in Sri Lanka. My topic is places of historical interest in Sri Lanka. I'm going to describe five places. May I know what they are? Yes, they are Sigiriya, Polon Narva, Anuradhapura, Dalada Maligav and Kataragam. You all can question him. We need some more details. Yes, I'm going to bring some pictures of these places and prepare a booklet. I hope to build models of Sigiri and Dalda Maligava too. Anything else, Diane? Yes, teacher. I hope to study and be thorough with the details of each place. My project is on the traditional crafts of Sri Lanka. I'm going to discuss handicrafts. Like what? 
brass ware, mat weaving, pottery and wood carving. How are you going to exhibit these things? I hope to collect some of these items. I wish to invite some craftsmen too. Why? They will practically show us how to do these things, like pottery and wood carving. That will be marvelous. I'm going to prepare some pamphlets with all the necessary details. I hope to find a good market for them. Well, children, in this lesson, you learnt how to express your future plans. Can you remember the structures used? I hope. I wish. I am going to. We are going to. Let's do an activity now. Let's look at one of the questions you are likely to find in the GCE O-Level examination. Ability to use these structures is tested in many different forms. Sometimes you have to write a paragraph about your future plans. Sometimes the same question appears in the form of a dialogue. Another instance can be where you have to write a paragraph on what you wish to do after your examination. Writing to a friend about your plans of a visit or any other activity will be another instance where you might be tested. In all these instances, you can use the structures you learnt today. Try these activities when you are free. You can read what your friends have written, discuss them, show them to your teacher. He or she will be ready to help you improve more. Let's look at this activity. What do you hope to do after your examination? Write five sentences describing your plans. Hope you have mapped out some sentences. Let's have a look at what I would write if I were you. First, I wish to relax a little after the examination. Second, I hope to visit my grandparents in my village. Third, I am going to follow a computer course. Fourth, I hope to help my father in his farm. Fifth, I wish to improve my English knowledge. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Let's meet with another interesting lesson again. Today, our focus is to write notices correctly. Children, let's continue. Where are the others we 
Rangi. They are practicing the items, Sudhara. What items are they practicing? Why? Have you forgotten our teenage show? Oh, the teenage show. I forgot it, Maliti. Okay, Udara. We were waiting for you. Now we can start our work. Yes, Vihangi. We have to write a notice. A notice about the teenage show. Yes, come in, please. Let's write it together. Hope you followed what they were discussing. They are going to write a notice. Let's see what they are writing. How do we start the notice, Vihangi? Maliti, can't you remember our English teacher explain it to us? Yes, of course, Vihangi. We wrote it yesterday. But... Maliti, take this sheet of paper and the pen, please. Let's try to write it. Vihangi, what do we write in the notice? We have to write when the event is taking place. That is the date of the event. Yes. The date of the event. What is next? Next, we need to write the time of the event. Hmm. Time of the event. Next, we will have to write the place. Yes, Sudhara. Then we need to write the place or venue of the event. Place or venue of the event. Maliti, we have to include the reason or the purpose of the event too. Yes, you are right. The reason or the purpose is very important. The reason or purpose. For whom are we writing the notice? Okay, I got it. That is our target group. Are we writing the notice for all the students in the school? No, no. We got permission only for grade 11 students. How nice! Now we have got all the basic points for the notice. Well, children, you saw how these students discussed the important facts to be included in a notice. Can you remember? Let's have a look at it again. How do we start the notice, Vihangi? Maliti, can't you remember our English teacher explain it to us? Yes, of course, Vihangi. We wrote it yesterday. But... Maliti, take this sheet of paper and the pen, please. Let's try to write it. Vihangi, what do we write in the notice? We have to write when the event is taking place. That is the date of the event. Yes. The date of the event. What is next? Next, we need to write the time of the event. Hmm. Time of the event. Next, we will have to write the place. Yes, Sudhara. Then we need to write the place or venue of the event. Place or venue of the event. Maliti, we have to include the reason or the purpose of the event too. Yes, you are right. The reason or the purpose is very important. The reason or purpose. For whom are we writing the notice? Okay, I got it. That is our target group. Are we writing the notice for all the students in the school? No, no. We got permission only for grade 11 students. How nice! Now we have got all the basic points for the notice. Okay, children. Now I hope you have listed out the main facts of a notice. Let's see. First, you have to write when the event is. Then, you have to write 
what the exact date of the event is. Next, write what time the event is. Then, write where it takes place. That is the venue of the event. Next, write the purpose of the event or why you have the event. It is very important. In some instances, you may specify the target group. I hope you have got the main facts of a notice now. Let's see how these children develop their notice using the above facts. Udara, Vihangi, shall we continue writing the notice, please? When is the teenage show then? It is on the 25th of November. It is on the 25th of November. Udara, at what time is it? At 10 o'clock. At 10 a.m. What is the place? Are we having it in the classroom? No, it is in the main hall. In the main hall. Why are you writing this notice, Udara? To invite students to watch the teenage show. To invite students. Who are the participants? Grade 11 students. Now we have all the necessary information. Let's write the notice. Well, you watched three students discussing the necessary information to develop the notice. Let's see them again. Udara, Vihangi, shall we continue writing the notice, please? When is the teenage show then? It is on the 25th of November. It is on the 25th of November. Udara, at what time is it? At 10 o'clock. At 10 a.m. What is the place? Are we having it in the classroom? No, it is in the main hall. In the main hall. Why are you writing this notice, Udara? To invite students to watch the teenage show. To invite students. Who are the participants? Grade 11 students. Now we have all the necessary information. Let's write the notice. Let's see how they are planning to write the notice. Have you finished writing the notice, Vyangi? Oh yes. I have finished writing the notice. Shall I read my notice? All right, Mihangi. Please read your notice. Notice. Grade 10 students have organized a teenage show. Date 25th of November. Time 10 a.m. Place School Main Hall. All the grade 11 students are kindly invited to attend this show. Date 11th November. Grade 10 B students. Good Vihangi, you have included all the main points. Shall I read my notice? Yes, of course. Notice. Grade 10B students invite all the grade 11 students for the teenage show. It will be held on the 25th of November at 10 a.m. in the school main hall. Come, learn, enjoy, have fun. Date 11th November, 10B students. Very well, Maliti. Well done. I'm sure you are impatient to hear what I wrote. Of course. Notice, all the grade 11 students are cordially invited to be present on the 25th of November at 10 a.m. in the school main hall for the teenage show organized by the grade 10 students. Well done. Well, you listened to three notices written by Vihangi, Maliti and Udara. Notice. Grade 10 students have organized a teenage show. Date 25th of November. 
टाइम टेन ए एम प्लेस स्कूल मेन हॉल ऑल द ग्रेट इलेवन स्टूडेंट्स आर काइंडली इन्वाइटेड टू अटेंड दिस शो डेट इलेवन मेम्बर ग्रेट टेन बी स्टूडेंट्स नोटिस Grade ten B students invite all the grade eleven students for the teenage show. It will be held on the twenty fifth of November at ten a.m. in the school main hall. Come, learn, enjoy, have fun. Date eleventh November, ten B students. Notice, all the grade eleven students are cordially invited to be present. On the twenty fifth of November at ten a.m. in the school main hall for the teenage show organized by the grade ten students. They included all the necessary information. Remember, when writing a notice, we write the topic notice date. 25th november time 10 am place school main hall purpose to inform or to invite the students participants grade 11 students remember when you write a notice for any event you have to include All the points we discussed earlier. Let's ask Vihangi to read her notice again. Try to find out the date, time, place, purpose, and the participants. Notice: Grade ten B students invite all the grade eleven students for the teenage show. It will be held on the twenty fifth of November at ten a.m. in the school main hall. Come, learn, enjoy. Have fun. Date: Eleventh November. Ten B students. Children, what information do we have to include in the notice? Can you remember we learned that we have to include the followings? Usually, we put the word notice on the top. Then we write the date, time, place. or venue the purpose of the event in a notice normally we invite or inform the participants finally you write the name of the person or the committee in charge of this event i am sure you have learned to write a notice let's try to do an activity now we are going to look at a notice You will find that some points are missing in this notice. Please try to find what the missing points are. All grade eight students are cordially invited to be present at 11 a.m. in the main hall to watch a drama organized by the Literary Association. Hope you found the missing points. What are they? Yes children what are the points missing in this notice according to what you have learnt i too have corrected it see whether it is like this i have highlighted the corrected places notice all grade 8 students are cordially invited to be present on the 10th november 2011 at 11 a.m. in the main hall to watch a drama organized by the literary association hope you have got it correct let's meet once again in a program like this have a pleasant day